The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology was originally started as the Kumasi College of Technology by ordinance in 1951. Uh, they brought in some They brought in some training teachers from Achimota to start the, the nucleus of the school. And in 1952, it was established as university. So it is 70 years now, celebrating its 70 years. And the first department was the School of Engineering and Commerce. Those were the first. And Kwame Nkrumah actually transformed it. That is why the name has changed from University of Science and Technology, as it used to be called, into Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUSD. And its primary purpose of establishing this university was purely for science and technology to be driven. But unfortunately, I will not say they have deviated from their core mandate, but they are producing more humanity students than the technology students. And it is the second university after the University of Ghana. Kwame Nkrumah was the first chancellor of the university. It also sits on a vast land, just like the University of Ghana. And there are over 100,000 plus student population of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And with this and University of Ghana, each their rivals in terms of say, I am the best. So, so established in the 2nd January 1952, started 51, but 52, the ordinance was passed in 51, and then in 52, but it got its full life by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah when he wanted to transform the whole thing into technology-driven uh, school. So the first department was engineering and commerce, and then we have the other faculties now that are operating. It's also as a medical school, as a medical school, school of engineering, all the faculties that a university can talk of. Yes. Has anyone, has anyone um, looked into the reasons why the students are not uh, going into the science and technology areas <laughs> as well, high a uh, number? You know, uh, high number? It's not, we have a lot of science students. We have a lot of right. science and technology students. We have a lot of them. But we also have, uh, you know, it's not the fault of the students. The university mandate was to be purely science okay. and technology. So if it stay on its core mandate as science and technology university, all the students that will come in here will basically be science and technology students. But now they have all the other faculties, so therefore other students from other humanities, they all come here. Well, they added other types. Yes, oh. they make it easy for themselves, basically. They have options. So the core mandate was purely science, but now they are into everything. So it's not as as not they are not still doing science and technology or anything. They are doing it, but I am saying that it's not purely purely as it's supposed to be.
we have over 15 to 20 registered political parties in Ghana. And there are two major, are the two major parties that since 92 have been ruling Ghana is the MPP, the ruling party, and the NDC, the opposition party. Now, each of these parties have their strongholds, and the ruling party, the MPP, have this stronghold in the Asante region, whilst the NDC has its stronghold in the Volta region. So in here, when you are able to win your primaries as a people representative, you know that you are already in the parliament of Ghana because they know that, hey, the only hurdle you have to scale is scaling the hurdle within the primaries in your party. And after that, you are good to go. So we still on the campus and gradually getting out of the campus of the university. And just like the University of Ghana, the lecturers and others stay, they have the bachelor's on campus. And if you don't, you run outside here. And just like the University of Ghana, depend on your rank, you get what? Uh, 